Hey, it's Brian Knight here at Avogdu's, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate my first attempt ever at using flint and steel. Uh, I'll be using a P38. These are handy little fuckers, and I guess they're pretty useful at uh, using flint and steel, I guess. And I'll also be using this fire starter here with a magnesium and a steel side, and of course the flint in the middle. I will be using lint as my kindling, uh, my tinder, which should be interesting. And of course, my tactical cardboard box. <laughs> so, alright. Alright, I will now attempt actually lighting it. Buff it up a little bit. But it took me a long time in my first time as well. If anything, this will make a really funny video. But yeah, uh, bro, that sucks. No, this is just like, you know, this is a. Uh, I just filmed it in, you know, in, in case we get, you know, something cool. You know, this is just you learning the technique. You know, yeah. so don't don't worry about it. Don't but worry. Don't like. I don't mind seeing people, letting people see me acting yeah. stupid. Don't worry about, you know, performance anxiety right now when you're learning. Alright, let me see. Okay. Or can I use this one or no? Uh, I, w I would rather you not. Alright, cool. Use the back of this place. Okay, so try uh try scraping off some of the magnesium in there. To the back or yeah, yeah, any of that part, just see where it's cut right here. a little bit. Yeah, just scrape it off from there. The back of the blade might work better. You kind of have to do it in a little bit harder in long strokes to get it coming off in ribbons.
Yeah, it might be easier. Yeah. Oh, you can just let it burn on that thing, don't worry about it. Want to get the fire starting though? I'll do that in a separate uh, video. Okay. Okay, try, um, mm -hmm. try holding it back a little ways and, and just kind of cranking on it, getting big sparks to fly in there. Might get one that ca catches something good. Let me give a shot. I've been doing this outside in the cold when it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> in freaking Boston. No way. <laughs> I'm not worth. I'm not walking up. <laughs> At least we're not rubbing two sticks together. <laughs> Have you tried that? Uh, no, not really. I. I will. Eventually, yes. Eventually. <clears throat> Try the strike force. Strike force? The other one I have? Sure. Okay. This one seems to be too difficult. Okay, so we're switching to the uh, strike force. So here, hold it that way so it's in focus. Um, down, down by over here. There you go. So, uh, point it towards the camera a little bit more so you can see it. Okay. We're, uh, using now the, uh, Strike Force, uh, magnesium flint and steel bar. And here, I'll demo, I'll just show you the, uh, technique here. And then what you want to do is use it at the top so you have the full length of the cord. And use the back end just so you have, like that, so you have the more, the, the most, uh, surface area to, to uh, use your range of motion. Mm. 
There you go. And we have flame. You want me to put it in the fire? No. No, just let it burn out. Flame. Victory. Victory. After endlessly trying with this, this did in about two, three seconds. The strike force definitely a superior tool. More surface area. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Alright, after trying endlessly with the uh, flint and knife uh, without any real success, we finally switched to this and pretty much accomplished it in two, three seconds. So, um, definitely superior, definitely. <laughs> Uh, I guess this is probably more of an emergency kind of thing when you don't have this, but... That's the, uh, strike force? Yes. And, and show them the, uh, large bar that it has on there. Much larger. That's the striking surface compared to the other one. Very good. Yeah, hold on a second. Uh, if you're going to do that, hold it up closer to your face and strike it so you can see it on camera. There you go. Very easy strike. No problem whatsoever. Um, it seriously started in like three seconds, close to this, which uh, is a bit of a pain, as you can see. Doing that for, I don't know how long was that, like 15 minutes? <laughs> uh, that started to get tiring after a while, it's like, screw it, go to something better. Yeah. So, uh, definitely superior. I guess this is more emergency use, something smaller you can put in packs, and also for those who are more experienced. And I do, of course, I mean, it's like, you want to try starting a fire? I'm going to give you the hardest thing I have to start a fire with. <laughs> and he did. And it, it was fun. I mean, I'll be practicing this a lot more, I hope. But uh, I definitely suggest for beginners who just want to start a fire, go with the start for it. Yeah. Uh, that's all. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of fail and victory. I'm Brognaut, and of course my handy cameraman Avagdi over there. Oh, over here. Yes. No. Let's get behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. Yeah. Victory. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Later. <laughs> okay. Hey, it's Vogue again. Uh, we're going to try fire starting with a couple different materials just to show you like the ease and and uh, difficulty in different materials. So um, I've taken just a normal cotton ball here uh, and broke it up a little bit just to um, fluff it up uh, so it will catch the sparks easier. There's uh, no Vaseline on this one. Uh, petroleum jelly. We've got petroleum jelly on this one and you'll see the difference between burn time and uh, ease of uh, lighting both of those. And then we got some uh, dryer lint also. The um, reason why you might use dryer lint is it's free and abundant, whereas, you know, these cotton balls cost a couple dollars. Um, so depending on what you want to do. Uh, if you're storing this, just keep it in a dry place. Um, waterproof container preferably if you're uh, going out in the wilderness and using these as tinder. Um, it's very difficult to start fires with natural materials alone so I definitely recommend uh, cotton or lint uh, to uh, start fires. In emergency you can get lint off of other parts of your clothing like your socks and things like that uh, but otherwise uh, the best thing to do is just carry it with you. So. Uh, here, I'll start the demo. Alright, recording. Okay. Ryan Frank? Mm hmm. Okay. So, this is just the uh, regular cotton. As you can see, lights up pretty easily. about a 
10 second burn time. This is a petroleum jelly. It just uh, sort of lightly coated on the outside. Cotton ball again. Break it up a little bit easier. Be easier. Start to catch. got over a 45 second burn time right now so as you can see it burns for much longer with the uh, petroleum jelly it acts as a wick and a candle and if you've got wet wood you maybe use one or two of these uh, in your wet tinder and uh, you can get uh, tinder and kindling and you can get the fire started uh, even when the wood is wet because it will take some more time to get that uh, get that going. But as, I, as you can see, it burns for a long time. There it is. So, I definitely, uh, for emergencies, definitely recommend that. So, and then we're just going to show uh, common household mint. These are with no magnesium, just flint only. take a little bit longer. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> so, that's burned for close to about 15 seconds, maybe a little bit longer. And that was a larger clump, um, so you can kind of control that. And it tends, um, tends to be a little bit harder than cotton to start, um, but you can also like sort of break it up and make it fluffy. Actually, there was almost like still a coal going on in there, which you might be able to use um, starting your fire. So. Anyway, those are a variety of different uh, flint and steel starting methods with the uh, USGI uh, mag magnesium on one side, flint on the on the other, using a P38 as the striker. It's uh, difficult um, because of the way uh, the metal is coated. Um, the, f the finish of the metal is very smooth, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it, uh, it can be done, and these are uh, cheap and plenty. Plen
plenty uh, full, uh, very widely available. So um, that's why I have demonstrated it with these tools. So thanks for watching.